So last week I shared a little bit of my morning routine with you guys. And today I want to share the other part of that is as soon as I'm, you know, freshened up and ready, a big part that I've realized in just this week alone, and I think it's something that I've been working towards accepting and realizing is that for me personally, and everyone's journey is different, but for me personally, breakfast is a non-negotiable. Breakfast is a non-negotiable, simply for my focus, because I have started mornings where I've gone all the way until like 1 or 2 p.m. without eating a single meal. And I know, have noticed the difference in this week alone, and I'm PMSing. So generally, it's like when I'm PMSing, my mental health is just right. So this week, having noticed that when I've eaten breakfast, even before I do my journaling, before I do my uh, devotionals, praying, all of that, well, the second set of prayers, right? I have to eat. I have to eat. So as you see, I'm, I'm making a bagel right now. I'm going to put butter on it. Oh, shoot. I don't even have a plate on my table, but it's clean. And I'm making oatmeal. Um, I didn't say it has to be the healthiest of breakfast, but I do recommend you eat um, something hearty and filling, something that won't take away too much of your energy. At least for me, that's what works. I just need something to give me a, that boost to fill my stomach so my brain isn't thinking about what are we going to eat? What are we going to eat? What are we going to eat? Because I get overwhelmed very easily. At 40, and also just being on social media, TikTok specifically, when they are talking about ADHD and the symptoms of ADHD and even um, autism and the connections that they have, it makes me wonder on a very serious note, and I'm not joking about this, but it's like, where have I landed on those spectrums? Because maybe I'm just like high functioning, but I feel like to a certain degree, I'm on those spectrums and maybe we all are. I don't know. I haven't really sat down and done the, the research about it in depth. If you guys have books or articles or videos that I could watch, please drop them and let me know in the comments because I'm open to learning more about this part of our brains, our minds, and, and just the, the way in which we are all existing in this world, you know. But when it comes to my morning routine, as of this week in the month of October, quarter four, I realize when I'm not prioritizing breakfast, when I'm not prioritizing drinking enough water, when I'm not prioritizing my vitamins, when I'm not prioritizing God, first and foremost, my day just doesn't go as smoothly as I know it can. Of course, I can't control all of life circumstances, of course not, but what I can control is me eating breakfast. <laughs> Even if it's a bagel with butter or cream cheese or I've just been on a bagel hype too whereas like I make sandwiches yesterday I had a tuna melt I ran out of cheese so I have to go to Trader Joe's later but you get the idea is for me I have found what my non-negotiables are in order for me to have a strong day in order to be able to handle what life throws at me good and bad that day because when you go about life hungry hangry it throws everything off, you know, for me at least. I, I don't want to speak for anyone else, but for me, I have noticed that when I don't have breakfast and then when I don't have breakfast and it doesn't lead into my prayers, my, my devotionals, meditation, journaling, reading, the day's just thrown off. So freshen up, thank God, be, you know, gratitude, lead with gratitude, breakfast, and, you know, it helps to put clothes on, you know, as much as I don't want to ha have to wear a bra all day. Sometimes there's a season for bras, okay? So whatever that is for you, do it to it. But breakfast and then I uh, journal. Well, I read my devotional. And lately I've been incorporating the Bible into my morning routines. Then after the Bible, I go straight to my journal. And then after my journal, I read at least one page minimum at most a chapter in my morning. And then I sit and process and meditate 
on what I've just ingested, what I'm going through, if there's something I'm stuck on, like right now it's my career. I will usually do a heavier, well, I wouldn't say heavier, but I'll put more energy into that in my prayers, in my meditation and see how it unfolds from there. But not ever stopping the work. And when I say the work, I mean, how am I strategizing? How am I planning? How am I executing? How am I reassessing? It's a whole process and being self-employed, I've learned that there's room for everything, but when you're focused on your goals, you really have to embody that goal and give it your all in order for it to work. And I'm the type I've mentioned before, I'm multi-passionate, multi-creative, multi-everything. Like I want to learn how to cook. I want to play sports. I want to talk about basketball. I want to talk about music. You know, I want to talk about mental health. I want to talk about real estate, business. I want to talk about so many things. And I oftentimes, especially when it comes to the idea of perhaps having ADHD or how do I navigate all of those loves and passions in a way that is for me, but also for the world to overall impact. I feel like through these this content, through these videos and these conversations, the underlining goal is how can I impact the world to make it a better place, right? And I obviously can't help everyone in the world. That would be daunting, it'd be exhausting, and I'd be disappointed every single day, right? But for those that I am impacting, those are the people I, I, I wanna stick to. Those are the people I wanna focus on. Those are the people I, I need to talk to. And if it starts with us connecting through bagels, us connecting through basketball, us connecting through business, the three Bs, <laughs> then I'm good. You know, and if, if me, talking about having a regiment, having a routine that one may call strict or too rigid, I don't know, but for me, it's like, if I don't do these things, th these are the repercussions, these are the consequences. So you just have to find what your thing is. Is it breakfast, is it lunch? And just experiment, experiment. Because I think for me, and I'll talk about this in, in the next videos, but my sleep is like the next thing I, I want to work on. Lately, I've been going to sleep around one every morning. I went to sleep at like 4.30 the other day because I downloaded a game on my phone. Do not recommend. I Delete games off of your phone. I think by the end of this week or the end of this month, I'm going to delete all the games from my phone because, <laughs> wow. I, I really have to put a curfew on, on when I play those games. I give myself like an hour at most, and even then I feel like that's too much, but I, I felt my whole body just like shift when I crossed 3 a.m. And, and I felt my eyes bulging and just like everything, my, I felt my adrenaline kick up at three o'clock in the morning playing these games because I, I feed off of being competitive and, and playing games. So I'll talk about sleep in a different conversation, but basically what I'm getting at is in order for my entire day to function at a decent pace or at a decent, at least mentally and emotionally, to be able to manage my, my mental health and my emotions, I have to eat breakfast and I have to sit with God. There's no time limit on what that means or what that takes. It just means that I've inserted these parts into my morning and they are non-negotiables. So let me know what your non-negotiables are in order for you to have an impactful day, in order for you to have a successful day. And again, success is defined by you. It is subjective. So no need to base my success on your life. It's more so what would make your day successful is it breakfast? Is it exercise? Is it, is it going for a walk? Is it drinking water? Is it journaling, prayer, talking to a friend, family member? There's a plethora of things, but when it comes down to it, before I could do any of that, go in, going into the world, I have to eat breakfast. And I used to never eat breakfast. So 
Shout out to this bagel I'm about to eat with some oatmeal and baka. Talk soon.